There are some buildings and areas all around the world that are considered tourist sites and are fascinating to visit. However, some of them have a dark history. Depending on the length of time that's passed, the negative energy can remain and linger for some time before being transformed into positive energy and light. The Colosseum is one example of this. It has a very dark history, and now it's a tourist attraction that's visited by millions every year. Its dark history occurred long ago. When an area or place has recent dark history, the negative energy can remain. These places carry that energy because the dark history is recent and there are still people alive who lived through the dark times there and can remember it. When enough time has passed, then the area can start to heal, but sometimes it does take time. Time is a healer and time can turn negative energy into positive energy. Some places need more time, light and healing than others. When negative energy due to dark history is present, then it can have a negative effect on the collective mental health of the people living in the area. People can pick up on negative energy and become depressed and in poor mental health, but they may not even know why they feel depressed. Our state of mind reflects how we live our lives. When our minds are in chaos, this reflects on how we keep our rooms, houses, homes, and our physical appearance too although sometimes an eclectic physical appearance can be caused by a lack of finance. When we don't take care of our mental health, it has an impact on others. We can blindly carry on ignoring it, but that only causes misery for others. In this case, it appears that misery does seek company. When individuals with poor mental health refuse to address it, it reflects on the rest of their family, their friends and their work colleagues. If someone runs a business and has poor mental health, then this will reflect on the decisions they make and will affect their employees and their customers. Employing people and giving them a good living wage is a responsibility that can't be done if the mind isn't right. It's true that like attracts like, so when a large group of people with poor mental health make decisions for others, it will have a negative effect on areas and sometimes even countries. In cases such as this, it can have devastating effects. Collectively, people in poor mental health think they're doing the right thing, as they can't see chaos when they're living in chaos. You can't see the centre of the circle when you're in it. You have to step outside the circle to see the inside of the circle. We can look at the northwest of the UK, and in particular Greater Manchester, as an example. The area has always been known, and rightly so, as an industrial area due to the factories and down to the hard-working people. However, in spite of this, the region has only small pockets of prosperity, with the majority of areas remaining in poverty. Within the space of 29 miles, or 46 and a half square kilometres, lies a territory which, over a period of 55 years, suffered four heinous crimes that rocked the communities to the core, one after the other, with insufficient time for grieving and recovering between each trauma. The first traumatic, tragic and vile event that shocked the area and the whole of the UK occurred from 1962 to 1965. Many children were snatched and went missing from the area. The crimes became known as the Moors murders, since many of their bodies were found buried in Saddleworth Moor. Not all of the bodies were found, and it's presumed that some still remain in unmarked graves in the moors. The second tragic and vile event happened between 1977 and 1999. This traumatic event involved the arrival of Harold Shipman to the area. He is thought to be one of the most prolific serial killers of recent times. His victims are estimated at around 250, as the exact total is unknown. He practiced medicine as a doctor and was only ever found guilty of murdering 15 of his patients since he took his own life in jail in the year 2000. The third horrific crime was executed by a gang of nine men and involved trafficking and abuse of a sexual nature of young girls from 2008 to 2012. 
At that time, the crimes were not investigated due to a fear of being seen to be racially prejudiced by the authorities concerned. Abuse of a child or minor is abuse, no matter what skin colour or race. The perpetrators of the Rochdale Ring have since been prosecuted and the authorities concerned have apologised. We cannot ever forget the fourth crime, the heart-rendering tragedy at the Manchester Arena back in 2017, which claimed the lives of 22 beautiful souls. The poem by William Blake entitled Jerusalem gave rise to the hymn, which has become an anthem for England. The poem mentions dark satanic mills, and it's thought that this refers to the mills of the northwest of England. It's obvious that the people and the area need much love and much healing light for all that they've endured. It may take time, but it will happen, and all will be healed. <laughs>